On my video for reversing individual words in a string, I got this comment here from Mustafa requesting a function that would reverse an entire string. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to make a function in C that's going to reverse a string. So we're going to need a test string. So I'll say car test is equal to, and we'll say one small step for man. And to reverse the string, what I want to do is alter the string such that it starts with period, followed by n, followed by a, followed by m, followed by space, and on and on. So to implement this function, what I'm going to do is include string.h, because the string.h library includes a string link function called strlen that's going to be helpful when I go to implement this function. And the function will look like this. We'll say void reverse, and it's going to accept as an argument a string. And we can provide a definition for the function down here. And basically the way the function is going to work is that we're going to swap the first character in the string with the last character in the string and the second character in the string with the second last character in the string and the third character in the string with the third last character in the string and on and on. If we keep doing that and we do that up until the middle of the string, we'll have reversed the string. You can kind of see it. If I said here dot n and then a, and then here I said o, n, and then e, you can see that it's starting to reverse, even if I just did those three characters. So we'll do it for all the characters in the string up until the midpoint of the string. And that's going to be our algorithm. So the first thing we're going to do is get the length of the string. Here I'll say int length is equal to strlen string, and we'll get the length of the string. Then what I want to find is the midpoint of the string because that's when we're going to actually stop doing the swaps. So here I'll say int middle is equal to length divided by two to find the midpoint of the string. To actually do the swap of characters in the string, I'm going to need a temporary character variable. So I'll say here car temp. Then the loop will look like this. I'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than middle, i plus plus. So the loop is going to use this counter variable here, i, that's going to go from zero incrementing by one until the middle of the string. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the character at position I and we're going to swap it with the corresponding character on the end of the string. And we're going to use the temporary variable to do this. So first I'll say temp is equal to string at I. And now that I've stored the character in string at index I into temp, I can safely overwrite it with the corresponding character on the end of the string. So I'll say string at i is equal to string at length minus i minus one. So this here, that's gonna give us the corresponding character on the end of the string. We have to do a subtraction of one to account for the fact that strings are zero indexed. And then we'll set the corresponding character at string index length minus i minus one, and we'll store into that position the temp character. So basically take the character that was at string index i and sort it into that corresponding character on the end of the string. And this should be it. This should actually perform the reversal. So let's try it out now. We'll say here, reverse test. And then we'll say printf percent %s test. And we'll output test to see if it's been reversed. So we'll save this here and run it and we get the reverse string here. And so we've successfully written a function in C that can reverse a string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.